So um, I can't even tell you. Honestly, I lost count. So it's around like eight or nine right now, I think. Is it tough to, so many of them, it's the two weeks away now, is it tough to keep focused and keep your energy up? I, I, I don't think so. I think this is definitely part of keeping me focused. Just being in the gym every day, being in these different gyms, knowing that you got to play your best every time in one of these workouts because you got all these people looking at you on the side. So I definitely think it plays into the focus. Can you explain uh, what the travel for this, you know, the last few weeks has been like for you? Um, I think my, my agent, they, he's been doing a pretty good job of keeping me on the East Coast when I have to and being on the West Coast when I need to. It's not too many times I'm flying back and forth. Um, but the travel's been, it's been fun, man. You could you stand in some of the nicest hotels, you <laughs> first, fly in first class, and like, you come in here just to play basketball. So I think it's been pretty good. What's been the nicest hotel so far? Um, I would definitely say it's between two, because the hotel I stayed here, I think it's called Le Germain or something like that. That was a pretty nice hotel. And um, in LA, LA we stayed at like the Ritz-Carlton, so that was real nice too. Is there anything specific that you've been working on since uh, the end of school? Um, definitely just been able to play that three. Um, I've been in playing it my whole life, but in college for my three years, I was playing the four just because that's what my team needed. That was, that was, I, I helped the team out playing that position. So definitely getting back to playing the three. Translating to the NBA, do you try and work on stuff that they're looking for? Or is it, do you have a vision for yourself? Um, I just try to work on everything, man. I, you know, different teams, different teams gonna need you for different things. Some, some teams might actually play me at the stretch four, so um, it's whatever. I just work on my game all in general, and if I have to, my, whatever team I'm going to, I'm gonna try to fit in with them. What is the biggest challenge moving from a power forward spot back to the small forward? Um, I was, for me, I think it was just getting back into um, the habit of guarding a three. Not really, not really offensively because I played the same offense as I did the power forward and, and been able to take them off the dribble. So definitely getting back to um, guarding a three, especially on the NBA level when they say that the small forward is like one of the toughest positions in the NBA. And uh, have you watched a lot of the Raptors during their season? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, anytime I see a Raptors game on, I always watch it because it's it's a pretty um, it's, it's always exciting. They eh? getting up and down the floor. You got a lot of young athletic guys out there playing, so it's gonna be an exciting brand of basketball. What do you want teams to know about you, like off the court? Because I mean, they watch your games. They kind of know what you what you're like as a player. Um, it's, it's not too much I do off the court. I'm I'm a guy. I'm at home nine times out of ten, either with my family or with my girlfriend, or I'm with someone of my friends or something like that, not, or playing video games or something like that. So I'm real chill off the court. Why is this the right time for you to enter the draft? How are you best prepared? Um, I definitely think so. Um, it, was a, it was a good year for me. I was well, like, around like 15 to 6 this year, I think. I think I showed them what I could do offensively and defensively. So I think it was just the right time for me to come out. And I got a family support, so that was definitely a big decision for that.